One in five people in developing countries live on less than $1.9 a day. 75% of these people live in rural areas. Empowerment of people is essential if we want to eradicate poverty in all its form everywhere. The big challenge is that rural poverty is still pervasive. So we need to think about how to transform the agriculture so that it's pro-poor. It's actually helping address rural poverty. We need to make sure that our policies are inclusive, that they include the voices of the poor people, that they address their needs and constraints, whether it's a woman farmer or a male farmer. So, at policy level, it's quite important that small-scale producers are involved, and that is best done through producers' organizations. The lack of secure access to land is a huge problem that's facing family farmers. Many of the poor are actually landless, and they need to access resources, whether it's pasture, land, water. This has a gender dimension to it because on average women make up about 10 to 20 percent only of the landholders. Another element which is very important is to make sure that small-scale producers, poor households, have access to technologies. Access to finance, access to credit, access to savings, information around markets, care services, legal services as well. FAO's investment is a mix of developing and assisting countries in implementing policies that are directly targeting the poorest of the poor. We're doing quite a lot of capacity development work to support member states in terms of improving the land policies, in terms of rural services, in terms of social protection, and then making sure that the policies are equitable. Major efforts and major investments are required now if we don't empower people now so that they themselves find ways to move out of poverty, it will be too late.